could imagine it could be quite nice to have these presences somewhere in your life as well. What I'd like to know is, uh, does Munichi actually sometimes come unannounced? Does he enter your dreams? Yes, Munichi sometimes does enter my dreams, but not that often. So in mm. fact, in the space of this team, I've been working with them and they've been working with me for about eight years. He's coming to dreams only three times, so that's not much, isn't it? But I would say that the um, influence in my life has been quite noticeable. So um, I would say it doesn't come unannounced because really the skill, the difference between a person that may uh, just begin to receive imprint, mental imprint from uh, the invisible world and people have a, a certain amount of experiences, the capacity to control and to attend up those type of encounter and circumstances so that you do choose consciously when and how um, engage into the work together because it's a collaboration. So in my case, because uh, when I was young, I was already a trans medium quite early in my life, I learned um, the training and I learned the way to relate to a world that is substantial but not uh, visible in a manner that was non, there was nothing threatening because it was very gradual for me. So um, I feel that Munjiji uh, doesn't kind of signal his presence in a um, dominant manner but as they call my attention in the hospice sometime there could be a, a, a feeling of uh, that could be suited to have an exchange of a communication but it's always up to me to accept or not accept so uh, there, there could be a slightly how do you know that is because you feel a slight pressure in your mind if you can if i can put it that way it's all question of recognizing internal signal but because it's a collaboration there isn't this kind of sudden in my case uh, startling sense like that first experience I had I was more startling so I'm really curious about this so he didn't he or they didn't enter your dreams very often but three times so was that a very significant dream I think the, the reason simply was that I was a little bit eager more to see them and uh, particularly the personality of the spook person, that is Monjiji, uh, it, it felt so distinctive that I wanted to, to kind of see him. So it, it took a while and, and just, just one evening, not any special particular evening, uh, so as I fell, fell asleep, I could see this distinctive presence, but I also um, can say that the fluidity of this personality, as I describe, it can look more Mongolian or can be very Chinese, and sometimes there is a Russian influence. So, it, it in different uh, dreams there were a different quality. That's why three times, a and it was more for me. There wasn't any specific communication that was kind of very important or relevant. It was almost like I wanted a. A reference perhaps of a face as well as a um, personality but what I was left with was more like a flavor in fact although I, I there was a, a feature but that feature could take also certain slightly fluid different um, aspects 